A spacecraft carrying the replacements for NASA's two stranded astronauts docked at the International Space Station, paving the way for Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore's return after nine long months. Reaching the orbit from NASA's uh, Kennedy Space Center, the newest crew includes NASA's Anne McLean and Nicole Ayers, both military pilots and also, uh, you know, an astronaut from Japan and also astronauts from Russia. They are going to spend the next six months at the space station, considered the normal stint after springing Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams free. Now, NASA wants an overlap between the two crews so that Wilmore and Williams can fill in the newcomers on happenings uh, aboard the orbiting lab. And this would put them on course for an undocking next week and a splashdown of the Florida coast if the weather permits. Now, the duo will be, in fact, uh, escorted back by astronauts who flew up on a rescue mission on SpaceX last September alongside two empty seats reserved for Wilmore and Williams on the return leg. Let's once again play out that moment when the spacecraft docked at the International Space Station. So after CHOP and as we make that initial capture uh, and the grand arrival when Dragon makes its final approach to the International Space Station, um, so Dragon is currently about... A good centerline camera. Station looks beautiful. One towards waypoint two. Waypoint two being just 20 meters in front of the Dragon Endurance spacecraft as it makes its final approach to the International Space Station, or not the International Space Station, the SpaceX mission control teams behind us um, are, of course, doing some final go no -go at Waypoint 2. And again, that Waypoint 2 is t just 20 meters away. There, uh, oh, that's a great view on the outside. Um, you can see that we're passing into an orbital sun. Not that soft capture ring uh, extension has been fully completed, so that um, extension of the soft cap. Additional loads from being imparted on the station during these dynamic operations. And I'm getting close considering now we're really illuminating that forward docking port wing. That typically comes at about two meters away from the International Space Station. Right now we're looking. Copy. Hands off. And there is the CHOP call. Standing by for initial contact of Dragon to the International Space Station. Dragon contact and soft capture complete. And there you heard Dragon has successfully docked to the International Space Station. We have contact and soft capture confirmed. And Lex Friedman has dropped his epic three-hour podcast with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It's currently ongoing at 5 p.m. We'll cut across to the podcast that's currently on. Stay tuned.